Okay, so the next question that we got today is what is a complex equation? A complex equation, uh, also known as a complex number, um, I'll, I'll write that out. Um, they have the following format. They're gonna be. They're gonna look like this: a uh, plus b times i. A and b. Those are real numbers. So, uh, sometimes they, they just say like capital R with like you know the, the fancy R. But I'll, I'll write it out: real numbers. So it could be like one, two, three, three point three pi, the square root of two, negative a billion, whatever number you like, as long as it's real for a and b. And i, that is equal to the square root of negative one. Now this right here, this is like the fundamental part of complex numbers and for complex equations. Um, when you see an i, pretty much just um, treat it as if it's like a variable, or like you can't really... Um, or just, just know that it's like the square root of negative one. It's an imaginary number. You can't really just incorporate that into like a single real number. Um, it has a real component. So A is real component. B is the imaginary component. Okay, now um, that's essentially what a complex equation is. It's going to look like this. B could be a negative number. So, I mean, this is just as valid as A, or it could be like negative A minus, minus B um, I, or, or like as an example, like minus 9 plus like minus 9 minus 8 I. That would, be a, that would be a valid number or a valid complex number. Let me just uh, redraw this eight. So like n negative nine minus eight i, that's a perfectly valid complex number, even though um, you know our equation is like this, because we have a is negative nine, b is negative eight. Okay. Now, complex numbers are useful in a couple of different applications, um, but they get uh, pretty advanced. Um, you might use them for phasers for a signal analysis if you're in if you're planning on doing anything with like AC electrical circuits. Um, you'll see complex numbers a lot, um, and they're the way that you use them is also kind of similar to how you use vectors. Um, you might um, and vectors are used a lot in a lot of different areas of big brain world so you know it's a important part to a uh, important concept to like wrap your head around so yeah the above solution here they had an example maybe it'd be good to show off a negative version of that but uh the above solution is good it is good Awesome, so that's a solution, good. Oh, and that wraps up all the questions. Time flies when you're having fun, as the old saying goes. Okay, just gotta do some things and then, um, yeah. So, um, those are all the questions for today. If you enjoyed today's Q&A and would like to be notified of when we do this next, please hit the subscribe button below and ring the notification bell if you're a super fan. If you'd like to submit your own questions, uh, vis please visit the video links in the description below. And remember to leave a like and comment and share this video with your friends if you really liked it. This has been Millen from One Class and I hope to see you again soon. Have a good day.